All right, today we're looking at a 40 foot used refrigerated container. These are 40 feet long, nine and a half feet tall. Uh, similar doors to your normal dry bag container, as you can see, you know, two locking posts on each door. So the locking rods are basically, you're gonna open up the right door first. As you can see, the construction's obviously different, right? They're flat, they have a stainless steel interior with a polyurethane insulated core. The floors are what they call an aluminum T floor. So that construction is designed to help keep refrigeration or the airflow underneath the boxes and the pallets so that you have even temperature control on all your product. Uh, you'll notice that there's drains right there. So again, these are designed to be able to be hosed out. Uh, the stainless steel is even on the roof. so. Again, they make a very nice solution if you're trying to store stuff that needs temperature control and you're worried about humidity or water. Uh, as we walk through it a little bit, the floor, you can walk on it fine. Uh, some people do decide to sheet it with like plywood. As we look to the back, you can see the refrigeration unit. It's hard to see, understand what it is, but basically what you're looking at is a refrigerated unit that is a clip-on and we'll look at it again from the outside. Um, at the top is where the air is flowing, and it's blowing, and then basically traveling out. It makes a good solution if you have food product or something where you want to keep it really sanitary because you can basically power wash them. And these are, have an R factor of 30. So, you know, with the polyurethane, uh, they really do work well. And the polyurethane is fire resistant also, which is another added advantage. Again, temperature, when we have a working reaper, it will do all the way down to minus 15 Fahrenheit, and then you can keep bring it all the way up into whatever temperature you need to. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the back now, where the clip-on refrigeration unit is. Right here is your clip-on unit. So you can actually unbolt this, and this whole unit comes off as one unit, and you can actually go inside the container. Uh, most of the time, you just leave it, just because it makes more sense, it's less work, you don't have to build another wall. But again, it can be done or it can be taken off and you can put a roll-up door on it. Uh, the problem with the roll-up doors, they're not very well insulated. You could put another set of doors on it that are insulated. Um, but let's talk about the refrigeration equipment a little bit. This is what they call a MicroLink 2. This is carrier equipment, uh, part of their thin line. Good equipment. Uh, this unit, the problem with it is the compressor. Uh, it needs a new compressor. New compressors typically run what they call remanufactured or about 2800 plus the labor to install them. After that, this would be a running unit again. Uh, you've got your controls here, you know, your readout. Right here are the, the, the control panel. And again, if we were to be using this unit, it would require 440, 460 volts. The amperage on it, you would you'd want to have it hooked up to something with a 35 amp breaker. Again, there's a what they call a shore plug. And if we look for the shore plug, it should be right about here. Plug in here, they've cut it off already. But basically, that's the shore plug. That's what you would tie into, uh, into your junction box or in their panel with a 35 amp breaker, and you'd be good to go. Uh, you could also just get another outlet or plug for that and then plug it in. Other than that, as far as the function codes and alarm codes, they're here. The manuals for all these are online at the manufacturer site. So if, there's, if it's throwing a code that you don't recognize or you're having a problem troubleshooting, you, you, that's a, probably the first place to start. Uh, Carrier and, and uh, Thermal King you know, have reps worldwide. So you, you won't have a problem finding somebody come out. Uh, locally, the Carrier re uh, repairman is 85 bucks an hour portal to portal so it gives you an idea of what you're up against if you need a, a repairman out. Parts for it and stuff are readily available so again it's it's something that can be maintained. Uh, what some people do is they don't bother to replace or fix this equipment on a non-working because maybe they don't need freezing capability and what they do in that case is they take just a normal air conditioner and they'll either just mount it on top of the roof like more what they call a mini split and uh, and run that unit in and that works really well too.